Hey everybody, this is Cassandra, and I want to say thank you so very much for being here at Cassandra's Garden. As you probably already could tell, I've got a plethora of different types of videos that I've put to my account. You may hear my grandkids in the background. They kind of just don't want to leave Grandma. We've had a pretty um, emotional, trying week. As a lot of you know, my son just got... Um, my son just got out of, uh, prison and you guys and gals followed us and watched us. And I want to say thank you to the awesome, classy people out there who did not make rude comments, who welcomed my life, you know, my son, him coming out with open arms. I want to thank all you wonderful, classy people out there who are just, you're, you're so friggin' awesome that you didn't judge him. There is a lot of factors that why he had to go to prison. He did go to prison for some things he did do, but he was literally on video footage for crimes that he did not even commit, and they still charged him, and they knew. The district attorney knew. The judge knew. Everybody knew the lawyer had it on video, but my son still had to take the fall for it, and that's not justice. And I can't thank you all enough for being so supportive and so amazing. Man, you you rock. All of you really rock. Today, I want to show you how to make something that is so delicious that your family is going to hug and kiss you every time you make it. So my son just recently, as you know, got out of prison, and one of the first meals he wanted me to make was my homemade million-dollar baked spaghetti, which I will be giving you the recipe and the directions on how to do that at a later time. But he went crazy over my garlic breadsticks. And they're better than Olive Garden, I'm telling you. And my granddaughter has already been crazy about them. My youngest granddaughter's already crazy about them. My grandson, my husband, my daughter, like they just can't get enough of them. And this recipe is so amazing. I wanted to share it with all of you today so you can make it for your families. So let's get started. I have right here one cup of lukewarm water. Now, it cannot be over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So I just take my little thermometer here, and I see that it's 93, so it's perfect. And let me explain why. If your water, and, you, and what I did, I did boil this for 30 minutes, so it's completely distilled on a molecular level. If you take a pot of water and you boil it for 30 minutes on a molecular level, it is the same as distilled water if not even better. So, I ha I've let it cool down to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. As long as, it's as long as it's less than 110 degrees, you're good. If your water is 110 degrees or more, it's going to kill your yeast and your bread will not rise and you will have a failed product and it will not taste good at all. All right, to this one cup of distilled water, that is less than 110 degrees Fahrenheit, we are going to add one teaspoon, excuse me, one tablespoon. This is one tablespoon of active dry yeast, and that is definitely one tablespoon. So we're going to add the yeast to the water, but before we do that, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Why? Because the sugar mixed with the water helps activate the yeast and makes your bread fluffier. So we're going to add, we've already added the one tablespoon of sugar. And I just, I like to stir it till I know all the granules are gone. And then we're going to add our one tablespoon of active dry yeast. Now we're going to let that proof. And what that means is we're just going to kind of stir it about and we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and it's going to get nice and fluffy and it's going to be ready to go here in just a few minutes. So we're going to set this to the side undisturbed. Now, I have already sifted the this. Let me scoop my yeast right over there so it's undisturbed. I have already sifted three cups of all-purpose flour, and what I do is I take two bowls, and I sift, I use one for sifting, and then I measure it and put it out in another bowl, because that's the true accurate measurement. 
So I'm going to just add my three cups of sifted yeast into this larger bowl. And to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. one teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon of salt, mine's mixed with a little bit of pepper, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of basil, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to tell y'all, when I made this, my son flipped out. He absolutely loved it. Now, we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. I use a robust flavor olive oil, and it works great for me every time. Now, I normally just set a timer and let my yeast get really, really good and fluffy, but I can already see it foaming and having those little bitty explosions. That's tell. oh, whoa, let me show you guys and gals this. Like, this just happened in an instant as I was talking. Like, it just, boof. So I know that this yeast is awesome. Usually I, let, I just let it get really fluffy, but for the sake of this video and time purposes, we're just going to go ahead and add it to the mix. And we're going to stir. I'm going to combine all of this together until all of the flour is moist and we have a nice ball. And I did wash my hands earlier, so just to let all you know, all you germaphobes out there know, I'm a germaphobe too, and it kind of grosses me out when I watch people, um, um, baby girl, was there any way you would go get me a set of gloves under my sink in there? The sanitized gloves, the sterile gloves, pretty please. So I understand how it is. It kind of grosses me out when I watch people knead with their bare hands. So I should have brought my gloves in here earlier, but my granddaughter's going to go get me a pair. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they heard you, baby. You might want to come over here and say it. Hi, everybody. That's Destiny, everybody. She's pretty happy about her daddy being home. I'm going to add, and Coraline wanted me to let you know she's pretty happy about her dad being home. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil just to get it a little bit moist. Now I'm going to start kneading. But before I do, I'm, even though my hands are clean, because I got to be honest with you guys and gals, when I watch somebody do something with their bare hands, I kind of get grossed out. Even if, for, even if it's for yourself or for your own family, come on, man, let's just be clean about this. My granddaughter, I've taught her well. Even though her hands are clean, when she, I saw her get them out of the box, she got them with her fingertips and she held them right here. So, that was pretty cool. So, I'm going to start kneading this. And I'm just going to knead for about five minutes, just enough to work it into a smooth bowl. Now, the reason I added a little bit more olive oil was because we're going to have to let this rest for one and a half hours. After one and a half hours, I'm going to bring you back for part two. And then after I bake them, I'm going to bring you back for part three. Now, these get a topping, which I will show you in the next video. But you are going to love this recipe. And if you follow my recipe and my directions precisely, you're going to make famous breadsticks like mine. I just didn't want to waste that. It's, just, it's like gold. And I'm telling you, if you could smell this, you'd go crazy. And that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys while, and gals while I was here. I have followed people on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook to get other good recipes, you know, just to kind of break the norm. 
you know, instead of having the everyday thing, because I really like to give my family a variety. And I, kept, I, I would get so angry when I would follow someone who had really crappy recipes or their directions wasn't good enough, and I would have a failed product every time. Even though um, I don't have very professional videos, that's not what I'm here about. I don't want to be fake because I don't know how to be. I want to give you real food. I want to give you real recipes that anybody can do. Even if you've never been able to cook before, I want to help you. I want to help you learn. I want to reach out to you. I want to connect with you. I don't care about having a big fancy stage and a script to go by. None of my videos are scripted, and I really like it that way, and I think a lot of other people do too. They appreciate it because I'm a little bit more real, and that's what I want to be with you. However, I do have some good news. I got a good camera on order, so my quality is going to be a lot better. But I'm not going to change the way I do my videos. It's going to be unscripted, unrehearsed, real. I'm in my real home, you know what I'm saying? And I found that when I follow people like that, I get the best recipes. Recipes that I didn't really think I could master. And I ended up feeling really good about myself because they taught me. And I always thought fondly of those people that I would follow on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook that were real. And I want to be that real person for you. Someone that you know that if you're looking for a good recipe, you can come to my channel and you know you're going to get something that's going to taste great and be great every time. So that's my goal here. And then have other stuff too. Now this looks pretty good, guys and gals. So I'm just going to form it into a nice ball. And we're going to let this rise for one and a half hours. And then I'll come back. What I'm going to do... First, take off my gloves, and da da da! I've defeated the paper towel and toilet paper rage. I actually have some. I'm just going to cover this like this. It's going to stay in a warm, dry place, which is going to just sit right here for one and a half hours, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what to do. I want to thank all of you guys and gals. I'm going to tell you, you people out here. They subscribe to my YouTube channel. Man, you people are awesome. I love people like you that are so cool and you don't judge and you and you and you support one another. Man, y'all make me feel great and you make me want to be a better person. Peace and love, and I'm gonna see you in the best garlic breadsticks, better than Olive Garden <laughs> DIY. This is part one. I will see you in part two. Blessings, love, and light.